Well, everyone, I have returned. Now, ladies and gentlemen, have you seen the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell, and of course, you will get a notification from YouTube. And don't worry, I'll discuss my social media accounts when the video is completely over. Now, once again, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some to drink. Or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And, of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. This one, there will be a link. Now, in your honest opinion, how do you feel about Lee Morgan's Lee Morgan title reign? This one, not the other one, because the other one was not very good. Uh. Now, this one is a very decent run, okay? It's going to end eventually, probably, most likely, through Rhea Ripley. That's the only logic I could think of. Who else is going to beat Lee Morgan for that belt? You know, Charlotte Flair is still not back yet, so I don't know what's going to happen, you know? Okay, listen to this. Leah Morgan had, I mean, has held a single goal twice in the league, but her first reign with the gold cannot compare to her current run as woman champion. Probably her first run, no one does not give a flying crap about it, you know? I think that was under Vince McMahon there. I don't remember. In 2022, Morgan won the SmackDown Women's Championship by cashing in her Money in the Bank contract, then champion Lana Rousey. How do you feel about that when she cashed it in? You know, it was not very good uh, at all. People was ripping on her and, you know, I don't know why they, they should just wait until, um, Ron Rousey lose the belt, then she cash in because you know Ron Rousey is a very good athlete. You know what I'm saying? But it was an okay match, okay um, rivalry. I'm glad it's over with. Okay, this year Morgan captured the women's championship at the King and the Queen. Uh, you know, with the victory over Becky Lynch. Now she won. She had a belt ever since. On the recent edition of Insight Podcast, Morgan explained how the two titles Rain explained can't be compared. She said, "Now you agree with that or not? You know, I think Lee Morgan came a long way in this company. You know, since uh, the Riot Squad, I think she's the only one in that group who won championships. Because the other ones." Not in the company anymore, or they don't want, want to use them. So typical, though, right? So I don't know how long is this run going to last. I'm assuming eventually everyone's going to turn on her on a Judgment Day 2.0. I'm just going to say that. Of course, though, it's not going to say 2.0, but we all know they're not the original, original, you know? But whatever. So her run is going to end eventually. If it does not end by the time WrestleMania, then I don't know what to tell you, you know? It seems like they always want to end it at WrestleMania. You know, the, the title reigns, you know? For women's. So, and I know she's very beautiful. And every time when Rhea Ripley was trying to get her hands on her, she runs. That is not a champion, okay? Champions usually go uh, go after the challenger, you know. But she's a heel, so she's going to find any way to keep the damn title around her waist, you know. Now, if she was a baby face, it'd be a different thing, you know. So I can't take her seriously as a baby face. Heel, I don't know if I can or not. Now with those other stooges. With her, you know, she needs to go on her own and see if she could, is she, is she's a fighting champion or is she just like a fluke champion, you know. So, but I'm glad that Triple H gave her the opportunity to run with this title reign way better than she cashed it in on Ron Rousey a while ago, you know. So, 
I think W just wanted to test out the waters with Lee Morgan, and it was very successful. Not the very first time. You know, when, when you cash in, sometimes it might be a very successful run or it might be a very disappointment. So however you want to think of it. So let me know what you think about this article or you can listen to the podcast down below. Now follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all my social media comments will be down below. Now if you want to be a part of my show, that'd be delightful. If not, don't worry about it. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday and I'll be back sometime on Wednesday. Adios!